Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to get a video boot animation that uses regular MP4 files. The advantage of this is that the boot animation can be much more detailed with a higher frame rate, and if you're adventurous, you can even create your own boot animations from videos you've filmed. It does require that you're rooted, and you'll have to be running Android 4.4 KitKat, so no lollipop or jelly bean. And devices with heavy manufacturer modifications like Samsung's TouchWiz will not work with this one. But if you meet those requirements and you're ready to get started, you'll need to download a bin file that will enable video boot animations on your system. I have that, as well as any other pertinent links you might need, just sitting there waiting for you over at the full tutorial. So head to the link in the description below this video to grab everything you'll need. Now this mod was created by XDA user DevilX94, so big thanks to him for all his hard work. But to transfer this boot animation file over to the proper location on your device, you'll need a root enabled file browser. I'll be using FX File Explorer to demonstrate, and you can download that for free on the Play Store if you'd like. Just make sure you also have the root add-on installed before you begin. From here though, head to the download folder on your device's main storage partition. Go ahead and long press the boot animation file, then select copy. Next, head back out and dip into the system root directory. From here, go to the system folder, then the bin folder inside of it. You'll already have your stock boot animation bin file in here, so you should rename it or copy it to a different location before you paste the new one in. And that will require that you mount this folder as read-write. And in effects, that means that you have to tap this lock icon, then tick the box and press OK. I like to just rename the file when I'm doing something like this, rather than putting it in a different folder that I might not remember later if I want to revert. So I add a dot back to the end of the file name, since the system won't be looking for a file with that extension, it'll just ignore it. But once you've done that, go ahead and paste the new boot animation bin file right in its place. After that, long press the new file and change the permissions. For this one, make sure that read, write, and execute are all ticked in the owner category, while all other categories are set to just read and execute. With that stuff taken care of, you can now use video boot animations on your phone. DevilX and the guys over on XDA already have a few compatible boot animations that you can choose from, and I've got them all linked out of the full tutorial. So pick the one that you like, go ahead and download it, then open up your file browser again and head back to the download folder. These files should all be named specifically bootanimation.zip, because that's the only name that the system will be looking for. But again, just long press the file, then select copy. After that, go ahead and navigate back to the root partition of your device, then head into the system folder one more time. But this time, go to the media folder instead, and make sure that it's mounted as read-write as well. In here, you'll find your old bootanimation.zip file, and that's another one that'll have to be moved or renamed. Again, I'll just add a dot back, and the system will ignore this file. So after that, just paste the video boot animation file in its place, and this will be the one that the system sees instead but you'll also have to make sure the permissions are set properly on this file. Bootanimation.zip files should have the owner category set to read and write, then everything else set to only read. With that taken care of though, you can go ahead and reboot your phone to check out the new boot animation. If you're feeling adventurous, you can even make your own video boot animations now. The video files have to be MP4s, and the resolution has to match your phone's display. But other than that, you can simply replace the two video files in the modified boot animation zip that we just copied over with your own. That's something that would probably be best done on a computer with a program like 7-Zip. So basically you would just copy the new boot animation.zip file over to your computer and throw a pair of custom MP4s in it before moving it back over to your phone in the system slash media folder. But as you just saw, these video boot animations are a lot more crisp and detailed. So even if you don't make your own, there's a clear advantage over the stock versions. If you'd like to get the full breakdown, though, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.